Before I get into the second book, I wanted to show you this map, which tells you more detail about who's and where. This is the garden. And here's the Iliad and the Goblin Tower. There's the Beholder Ruins, the Gift Tower, and the Old Wizard's Lair. The Dwarf Towers, Giant Towers, and Gnome and Arcane Towers. The Long Things Tower, the Umberhulk Tower, the Yogi Tower, the Academy of Human Knowledge. That's one map. And then there's a map of the Spelljammer, which has numbered, tells you who all these towers are. Each tower is a place, and if you look, you can see in the middle of the body is an outline of where the garden is. Now here's the council chambers and captain's tower, the ships, markets, and stores, the, some of the human and halfling towers, captain's tower. Okay. So, the next book is Captains and Ships. So, let's take a look inside. Okay, it starts off with a descriptions of some ships, which I have shown you the cards for them before. Some of them had cards, some of them didn't. The Unity ships of the Kerr. The Kerr are an insectoid race. There's the Battle Dolphin with its dolphin shuttle. Here's a picture of the Battle Dolphin. The Cuddle Command ship. There was a card for that one. Uh, the Great Bombard, which is a gift ship built around a giant cannon. Illithid Dreadnought, which is a big mine flare ship. Here's a picture of it. And the Octopus ship. Quinton's Library is a unique ship. There it is. And the Gnomish Welk. The Leech ship is a Neogi ship that can latch onto a whale. And the Urchin is another Neogi ship, and the whale ship is a big cargo ship. And then it goes into some of the people that are on the ship, some of the leaders of the factions. So there's the Mad Arcane, and Aragon is the king, the undead Null chieftain. Ar Arvanon is the Lizard King priest. And there's pictures of them. Okay. So, Aster is a partially blind beholder. Breakox is a hill giant minotaur elder. And Brother Burke is a wizard. So, here they are. Kassarok is a 15th level fighter. Chaladar is a 19th level paladin, and Chila is an 18th level fighter. And Ko is a believer of the Neogi. Demets is a lizard man. And Diamond Tip is a leader of the GIF. Father Goat is a satyr. And Fire Spitter is the leader of the Free Dwarves. And then the Fool is a Lich. A Master Lich. The Grey Eye is the leader of the Beholder Citadel. Haunterback is the Lord Mayor of the Halflings. And High Star is the leader of the Elves. So, the Hobgoblin Prophet is a Hobgoblin Shaman, uh, the Hooded Soldier and is a, a zombie, an intelligent zombie, and Jokarin is a fighter. So, 
Kama Danael is the leader of the Dracons. Korvok is the leader of the Thieves. It's like a guild of thieves. And Kova is the leader of the Dwarves. They're actually two form factions. So Christobar is a halfling. Leoster is a sage. So Leoster, Christobar, and Mirok is a blind beholder, partially blind. Beholder wizard, actually. Okay, Mostias is a centaur. Nagasimi is a 12th level Wu Jian. And then Olyster is a fighter. So Auric is an Umber Hulk. Silura is a fighter. And Shichaga is an Ogre Mage Chieftain. Silu is a Bushi. Stardom is an Elf Fighter. And Souza the Brass is a Brass Dragon. Right, Tajo is a Frost Giantess. The Oryx is a Priest of Odin. Here they, here they are. And Trivac is a Mind Flayer. So after delineating all these leaders of the factions, there is a plot to go in if you want to railroad your characters into traveling to the Spelljammer and getting involved in a railroady story that can happen. There's a picture. I'm going to zoom in on pictures. There's actually several of these. The railroad started because they weren't allowed to play tests. Can you imagine if Ford designed cars and built them, but nobody ever drove them before they started selling them to people? Well, that is the end of the second book.